we are going to analyze uh, two hinge circular or segmental arch okay so here here is our problem a segmental arch of uniform moment of inertia has a span of 80 feet and a substance at an angle 90 degree at the center of the arch the arch is subjected to an UTL of 5 KLF over the entire span drop BMT of the arch this means the unit of this problem is FPS unit okay a kilo pound kilo pound feet okay there is a many formulas for determining bending moment of circular segmental arch first of all, all we have to determine the central rest by this formula okay given alpha is equal to 90 by 2 45 will r radius will be 50.57 feet as center rest will be h is equal to r into 1 minus cos alpha is equal to 15 by 5 okay uh, this is all we need all we need is this h central rise okay all we need is central rise okay and this will be done by software automatically this will be done by, by software automatically okay now um, open sap 2000 version 18.2 this now as our unit is in FPS unit so here kilo tip feet okay now okay. it will be, it will be um, three oh we you have watched my previous video then it will be very easier for you okay if you not watch my previous video then i recommend you to watch my previous video for better understanding it will be uh, 8 minus 40 right Just. will be uh, 16.57 So yeah, <coughs> so there is a circular as plan upon the radius. We don't know what is the radius, okay? We will, but we have our central radius. Uh, though we have determined radius and central radius, suppose we don't know our radius. We only know our central radius, sixteen point five seven, okay? Okay, then now this plan upon the radius. You can also determine the radius or just by y by central rise we are dealing with central rise only so be here and the total length of the eighteen where 80 feet right okay 80 feet the third one that means the central rise will be at 40 feet okay 40 feet and the distance is uh 16.57 right and uh, we, we will divide this frame so divide this card frame by 18 feet then um, number of linear segments will be um reduced by the number say um four four huh, four okay four or you can say eight it will be better okay um four the four uh, and zero okay and don't forget to click mark this big into multiple equal length objects okay okay here you go okay now assign loads low uniform distributed load five five kp uh, that means the load is 
uh, along the curve okay this uniform load is along the curve in horizon and gravity protected okay this this is uh, acting uh, in gravity but if we place these loads along this curve then the load will be acting in gravity projected then select whole structure okay uh, okay sign loads uh, frame loads uh, distributed loads you can also assign a uh, type of loads previous loads we can be assigned um this what is the distributed load here five uh five k feet right hmm. five k feet okay gravity projected okay okay now we have to assign our support i mean hinge support this is a intermediate structure right two hinge uh, assign joints loads um in support i mean pin support okay all is done now set analyze option analyze option click click you don't need model this is your for design purposes and run now and um, just a uh, deflection separation uh this uh to him what the hell? Acha, okay, what is this? Acha. We will replace this. Uh, um, two hint um, uh, are circular, right? Circular are Here we go. All is done. First of all, we have to determine our reactions. Here. Okay. So reactions. Um. Okay. Addition is uh, particularly. 200 right and the uh, horizontal is 235 and our vertical reaction is uh, 201 and 200 very close and horizontal is 235.4 and this is 239.79 very close hmm? i have told you that the the answers will be little difference okay and we now we are going to uh, know our bending moment diagram okay okay uh -huh. yeah. okay um okay uh moment three three means uh moment three three means a maximum moment you can also know how to share this time will give a share, this time will give a moment. So here you go, our moment. Look very closely there. Red lines means negative moment and the blue lines mean positive moment. Okay. This region is um, ne negative and this region is negative and this region is positive. Okay. I also see that this uh, region is positive, this region is negative and this region is negative. Okay. Now, what is the resultant positive moment? The resultant positive moment will be uh, uh, 4000 minus 3901. That means 99.99. The resultant positive moment is 99 feet. Okay. So, what is the our resultant positive moment here? That is our let's click here. Mm, look here. Show maps. 
uh, 99.48 very close at 5.5 uh, feet that means uh, along the curve um, along this uh, 5 point, this is the 5 from here to here 5.548 that means if we sum of this frame here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so sum this frame the 5.48 from here to here will be uh, summation of this plus 5.48 we, uh, we can find the maximum positive moment okay along the curve now we have to determine maximum negative moment what is the maximum negative moment uh, determined um, maximum negative moment uh, is um, what is the maximum negative moment so we uh, also um, what maximum negative moment will be um, So negative moment is one minus one hundred forty-eight and ninety-eight. Okay. Our maximum negative moment is minus one hundred forty-eight point eight nine. Okay. Hmm. If we minus this. Um, this is uh, 874 minus 74 5 so what is the value? Okay. 184 this is a negative this is negative right minus oh Price similar, price uh, approximate 124 and our result is 148. Uh, Maximum moment. Thus, we can you can found uh, share moment deflection. The deflection will be upward uh, minus sorry downward. Okay. Okay. This is a moment diagram. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. Um, thank you.